Hey guys, what's going on? This is Travis P11. I want to welcome you back to the channel. Well, today we're going to be doing a simple disassembly and cleaning of this uh, Beretta 92FS Compact Inox model M9A1. It is chambered in 9mm Luger. And uh, if you're familiar with the Beretta platform at all, then, then you're already familiar with this particular pistol. Even though this model is just a little bit hard to find, it really isn't unique enough that the disassembly and cleaning is, is any more of a challenge than any other Beretta you've ever handled before. So let's go and talk about what we're going to use for this particular cleaning. Uh, today we're going to be using a little bit of CLP. I like to use that on the slide and the barrel, uh, both inside and outside. Some REM oil. I like to use that on the lower because it leaves things lubricated but not too greasy so it's going to attract a bunch of different you know, dirt and grime and so on. A cleaning rod. Okay, well, obviously we use that for the barrel. A couple uh, cleaning brushes. You know, you can use some standard bore brushes with the cleaning kit if you get them. These just make it quick and easy. I don't have to assemble anything. Uh, some cut up cotton t-shirts to do some cleaning, a few cotton patches, and just a few brushes if we need to do some scrubbing. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Now, one of the things you might want to start off with is just put a little bit of CLP on some patches so they can start to soak in, and uh, we use those as our basic uh, cleaning wipes, okay? Uh, what you want to do is make sure that the firearm is, in fact, unloaded, so we'll go ahead and release the magazine, check the chamber, okay? We're all clear. Okay, we can go ahead and drop the hammer using the decocker, or you can pull the trigger if you want to. All right, we got that all taken care of. Now, let's go ahead and uh, wipe off the top of the magazine. Uh, again, you may sometimes get a little bit of a buildup there. If you don't ever disassemble your magazines and clean them, uh, you might be just a little bit surprised by how dirty they can get. Now, granted, you don't want them excessively oily, but just uh, a light, thin coat of oil never hurts. Okay, so got that all taken care of. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, charge the firearm one more time. Now, to release the slide on the Beretta, it's a little bit different from a polymer gun. If you've ever used one before, like a Glock or an M&P and so on, uh, what you have to do is press this button right here. Okay, what that's going to do is that's going to allow you to turn this uh, slide uh, release lever mechanism. When you do that, the slide's under a little bit of pressure, so it's going to pop off a little bit. So make sure that you don't launch it off into the next room. And uh, go ahead and push that button down. There we go. Take off the slide. Okay, your firearm is more or less uh, disassembled at this point. Uh, let's go ahead and take just a little bit of REM oil and just uh, spray out the inside, especially get some down in that magwell. Okay. Go ahead and grab yourself a cut up cotton t-shirt. I've already got these a little bit soaked so that they can start to uh, do their thing. Um, now this gun uh, actually belongs to my father. Okay, I sold it to him and he hasn't fired it since I sold it to him and I completely went through and cleaned it once already. Um, now granted that was about, oh, probably about a year ago, I suppose. No, 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 I guess it was more than that. It was more like two years ago. And so uh, it does need just a little bit of a wipe off before we take it out to the range. You want to go ahead and take just a few patches on your cleaning rod and run that through the, the handle. You can do that. Now, like I said, this one's not going to be very dirty. And uh, yeah, there's nothing coming off on it. But you can do that if you want to, just because you can start to get a little bit of uh, dirt, maybe some powder residue built up in there. Make sure you got the rails nice and clean, your extractor, ejector, all that fun stuff. Okay. Okay, I think we got that all taken care of. That looks nice. Uh, we'll wipe off the outside of the fire once we get it reassembled, and then we'll be all set with that part of it. Okay, so go ahead and set that off to the side. Now, the uh, recoil spring is not a captive recoil spring, which means as soon as you push up on it with some pressure, it's going to try to launch because it's under full tension. Okay, so you want to make sure you give it a, enough tension that you can press up and then gently let out. And the cleaning rod, I'm sorry, <laughs> sorry, the, the guide rod, the guide rod in the spring will come right out. So go ahead and wipe off that guide rod. You can use some CLP on that if you want to, or just a little bit of REM oil. It's your choice. Okay, we'll go ahead and set that off to the side. Go ahead and wipe off your recoil spring. Reassembly really is a piece of cake. This is probably one of the quick, quickest um, disassembly and cleaning videos I think I've ever done before. So uh, go ahead and take out your barrel. Just push it forward, pull back, it'll slide right out. Now you do have this lug right here. You want to be careful because if it happens to shift over, it can lock in an up position and not go back down when you try to reassemble the uh, firearm. And you also have a pin right here. Okay, so you want to make sure that doesn't get wedged or jammed. So if this doesn't go down for whatever reason, check the pin and just make sure this hasn't gotten off track because it can lock itself into place if you're not careful. Okay, uh, go ahead and shoot a little bit of rem oil down that barrel. We're going to let that marinate for a few minutes. Now, you know, some barrels may be dirtier than others. You might find that mine really don't have much of anything to come off on it. But if you just got done doing a little bit of shooting, you may see a little bit more residue. Uh, we'll go ahead and take another uh, CLP soak patch and we'll go ahead and wipe out the inside of the slide. Now you can get a brush out at this point, scrub it out if you need to, depending on how filthy your, your firearm is. Uh, it's pretty much up to you. Oh, I also like to take a uh, Q-tip and run that the entire length of the rails with some CLP on it that just adds you know, adequate lubrication so that 
it's uh, easy enough for you to uh, make it operate uh, properly. Okay, definitely assists in the in the functionality of the firearm. Okay, simple enough. Let's go ahead and grab a Q-tip real quick here, or a cotton swab, whatever you wanna, whatever you wanna use. Okay, same thing. Okay, get a little CLP on the uh, end there. Okay, we got that all taken care of. Run that down there. Eh, a little bit of dirt and grime came off on it. Not a whole lot, but just a smidge there. Okay, let's go ahead and run it on the other side. Now again, you can do, you know, spend a little more time. I mean, I basically went through and totally detailed this uh, firearm before I sold it to my dad. So it'd be ready to go for whatever he needed to do. Use it, take it to the range, not shoot it, etc. Okay, kind of wipe out the channels with a Q-tip if you need to. Okay, got that all taken care of. No problems there. Uh, you want to make sure that the guide rod area is clean, that there's no buildup in there too. Sometimes you can get that if you fire a lot and don't clean it out. Okay, go ahead and set that off to the side. Uh, we'll take another CLP soak patch and go ahead and wipe off the uh, outside of the barrel just to get any initial dirt and grime and carbon that may be on there. Okay, no problems there. You can put a little bit of oil in here if you want to using the straw from your uh, oil can, your CLP can, if you feel like you need to. If it's dry, you might want to go ahead and do that. Okay, again, let's go ahead and continue wiping this off. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take my uh, copper brush and run that through the rear. Just a couple times we're going to get any built up burnt powder that might be in there or brass or whatever, you know, not brass, but copper, jacket material, etc. Okay, go ahead and take your nylon brush and go ahead and run that through a couple times. It just kind of does like a second stage of cleaning for the barrel. Okay, got that all done. I'll go ahead and take your patch, run that through a couple times. Now my patch had really nothing on it from going through the, uh, the handle, the pistol grip. And uh, I thought maybe there'd be a little more residue on there, but there really wasn't. So I'm just using it for the barrel here. Okay, no problems there. Go ahead and check the uh, barrel and make sure it's nice and clean. Should be able to see through it. Check out that rifling. That yeah, looks good. There's nothing in it. I'm surprised that this much actually came off on it, considering how uh, how spotless it was when I when I sold it. So, okay, we got that all taken care of. All right, now uh, at this point we can go ahead and reassemble the firearm. So again. One last little light coat of CLP on the barrel mechanism. And again, the main reason why I'm cleaning this is because it will be heading out to the range uh, this week at some point. And we'll be doing a range video on it, do an accuracy test on it. It is a fantastic firearm. I mean, the build quality is great. Um, it's just, it's, it's a joy to shoot. It really is a lot of fun. Now, when you uh, do this, make sure that you have your larger open end. That's going to be the part that's going to go over your cleaning rod. Oh God, I keep, God, I keep saying cleaning rod. I'm so sorry, guys. Over the... Uh, Guide rod, the guide rod. Jeez, I'm sitting here looking at my cleaning rod as I'm talking. Uh, again, carefully push this through. And this part's a little bit tricky because you kind of have to go in at a, at a tight angle. Okay. Duh, one, one thing that I like to do is just hold the pistol like this so that the barrel doesn't slide back. You kind of press up on it from the bottom. And you can put your finger in front of where that guide rod's going to come out. Let the slide sit on the ground and just push. And it will seat itself right here on this lug. On the lower side of the barrel. Okay, it should be nice and flat if you did it the right way. Sometimes that one can be just a little bit of a pain. I kind of wish they had a captive recoil on this uh, recoil spring on this one, but they don't. Okay, now let's go ahead and take another Q-tip here, another cotton swab, and we'll put a little bit of uh, CLP on that. There we go. Okay, go ahead and just wipe that on the rails. Just a light coat of lubricant, oil. Okay, some metal on metal contact. Okay, put a little bit on the next side. There we go. Man, calling it a cleaning rod. What is my problem? I usually have a cup of coffee when I do these things, but uh, I'm going on about four hours of sleep, unfortunately. So the focus isn't 100% there, but I do know what I'm doing. All right, now let's go ahead and put the slide back on. And when you put it on, okay, it's not going to stay, obviously. So what you want to do is you're going to want to push the slide back just a little bit past uh, you can kind of put it up to your hammer if you want to, and then just uh, flick your uh, takedown lever. After that, the firearm will be ready to be reassembled, and you can let the pressure off and let go. Done. All set. So that is essentially all that it takes. Go ahead and functionality check it. If you need to, you can wipe off any excess oil that might be making its way out. You can always wipe off on the hammer area, back here with the strikers if you want to. Okay, kind of give the gun a nice little... Nice little wipe off. It does clean up nicely. Um, like I said, I tend to use uh, either REM oil or CLP. I do like to use REM oil on the outside because it'll give it a nice protective coating, but you don't have to worry about it being too greasy and attracting a lot of dirt and lint, especially if you're going to conceal carry this particular firearm. 
Okay, go ahead and check it. Okay, make sure that the trigger works. Do a double action pull. Perfect, okay, you can try one more time. Check your decocker safety. Okay, push it up, pull the trigger. All right, good to go. That's all it takes, guys. That, in a nutshell, is what you have to do if you want to clean up your Breda 92FS Inox Compact or Breda 92FS Compact in general. There is another version of this pistol out there that's got the uh, Bruniton or Bruniton black finish, but it doesn't have the rail on it. And if you happen to have that model, the uh, takedown and disassembly of this model is identical. So it's a piece of cake. There you go. Okay, guys, I want to thank you for joining me today. Thank you for checking out the channal. Again, uh, my, the channel name is Travis P11. You can follow me over on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I'm on Patreon.com with uh, Patreon.com backslash Travis P11. You can also find me over on GunChannels.com with the Ordinary Average Guy Gun Channel and or Caliber Corner. Uh, Caliber Corner is a podcast that we do on Saturdays. We've only got about five episodes out right now, but there's a different topic every week that we talk about, and we'll be doing a part two segment on reloading this Saturday. So definitely check out Caliber Corner. I'll put a link to it in this video for you. And uh, otherwise, I think we're all set to go to the range. So there we go, guys. Thanks for joining me today. Again, please like or subscribe. And I want you to have fun. I want you to be safe. And as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right, guys, have a great week. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.